Canada. All right, joining us now, the director of Rapa's La Caja Full, and uh, that's Eric Johnson, and actor Kyle Critelli is with us as well. And uh, the show's going on when, first of all? Yes, it, it, uh, we continue tonight and tomorrow, and then we have another final performance on Saturday. Okay. It, this is, they're dropping a TV interview right in the middle of their, <laughs> their yeah. run, that fringe. I'll so. be on stage tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Running on caffeine, because it's a busy schedule yeah. for you. Oh, now, yes. I, I admit, when we said the title like that, I was like, I've never heard of that before. But I have, because it's the musical version of something that we're, a lot of us are familiar yeah, with. Yeah, the, the Birdcage movie that starred uh, Nathan Lane and Robin Williams yeah. several years ago. Uh, it's the musical adaptation of that uh -huh. of that movie, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of great music in the show. And it was a show long before the yes, movie. Yes, yeah, it was right. a play, I mean, play originally. Yeah, and it did its time on Broadway, and, and probably will be back again on Broadway someday. Um, it's a funny, funny show, it is. Uh, uh, and it was a funny movie, and it's a funny show when you, you add the music into it as well. What do you guys love about the show, perhaps more than others you've done? Um, let's see. I just love all the physical comedy, like um, actor Billy Dementsenaire. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. Like I, w I actually watched from the wings the other night one of the scenes that I hadn't seen since Eric first blocked it in rehearsals. And I was on the floor laughing, so I was laughing so hard. I was like, and, and I was hearing everyone in the audience cracking up. This was Saturday. It was just a great scene. Uh, it's when he's trying to be a man. <laughs> right. I remember. Yes. I remember. What's the show about? It tells some yeah, the show's about two guys uh, that have a son, and uh, the son comes back to tell them that he's getting married. Uh, but the father of the, the girl that he's getting married to is a uh, right-wing politician, and his views won't be the same as theirs. So there's a lot of conflict, and it's how do they hide themselves? How do they adjust to this new part of their family? Yeah. Um, and so that's a great message, all about family. Yes. But you said a lot of physical comedy, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's bits when um, me, um, Jacob, Alban, and George, the characters are just running around the apartment, like, trying to get ready for the, uh, the parents of the fiancé <laughs> to come. It's It's... It's very physical. Are you the son who's getting married? I am married? the son. Okay, all right. The son who's <laughs> Sorry, getting I should have married. clarified that. Now, since, since, they, since this show came out, boy, oh boy, has it become a major topic of discussion. Mm -hmm. Gay marriage, same-sex oh, marriage, right. and all this stuff. So is it, is it received differently now, or is it as relevant as it was when they first wrote the What's the interesting is that this show hasn't been done in Rochester in 22 years. Really? So it's been a very long time since this has been here. Obviously, Kinky Boots and a lot of those shows have been here mm -hmm. with similar messages. Um, but I think that this really brings out an older audience to the show that, uh, that we're going through these issues when this first came out. So mm -hmm. I think, yes, it is definitely still revel revelant. Yeah. Yeah. And you are a part of Fringe, and I was wondering, there are so many right. choices. I didn't know if that was um, a good thing and that it was bringing people out and maybe they might otherwise stay at home, or if it was there were so many choices that they maybe weren't coming. But you said attendance has been fantastic. Attendance, yeah, it, it's been growing every night it feels like at least on stage the, the audiences are always so welcoming and so they're so ready to laugh and ready to really enjoy themselves at fringe because mm -hmm. it's such a great rochester event you know fringe is just like if you look at the now book of fringe you yes, know it is a book, <laughs> it is a book now <laughs> there's so many things going on and everyone just tries to make it out to as many as they can and we we got 30 seconds left. If people want to get tickets to see La Caja Full tonight, tomorrow, or Saturday, what? Totally. They can go to the Rochester Fringe website or the rapatheater.org website. Uh, we are all late night performances, so we have tonight, tomorrow, and uh, Saturday. Okay. <gasps> Well, thanks for getting up early with us. Yeah, no problem. We, we do this to performers and musicians all the time. We get them up we in the middle of the night. Uh, okay. We appreciate that. 